Hey guys, what is going on? It is Obadiah and today we are back on the island playing some Extinction Core arcs. So today I thought it's about time that we do some building. So I already know about where we want to build. I know about where we want to make our new base. And this is a little community area, which is nice, but we're starting to outgrow it. So I've actually already been building up a ton of stuff. You can see I have some behemoth gates, behemoth doors. So we can just put the gate around our area. Now I'm only making them out of stone for now. I, eventually we have to do metal because apexes can break metal and I assume bosses can too. But for now, stone is gonna have to do just fine. Um, I've also gathered up a ton more materials to make stuff, but I want to go ahead and get these things placed. Oh, also, by the way, if you do enjoy these videos or if you learned something, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. And of course, feel free to subscribe and share. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take these gates over to the building area. We're going to hop on the Argent, I think. Why not? And go ahead and place these down. I'll try to kind of section off an area just for us. So I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff over there and start placing it and I'll bring y'all back. All right, guys, we are right where we want to build our new base. Uh, it's a little bit dangerous of an area, but I'll kind of show you where we guys are and why I like to build here. I built here once before. So we got this nice plateau right here. If you want to know the coordinates, we are at uh, about 65, 25. Um, it's pretty close to the volcano, right next to the swamp, and down this river, which of course gives us good water, but down this river is all sorts of like high good stuff to tame usually. It's usually packed out with dinos, rexes, you know, carnos, whatever. Now the downside though is that there's also bosses there. I've seen a couple manticores and that terrifies me. Um, I don't think I've seen any apexes there, but I wouldn't be surprised. But I think we want to build this out a bit. Last time I did this, I made the mistake I just built straight across here thinking that oh that's gonna be plenty big but in reality we ran out of space pretty quick so i'm gonna build out a little bit more this time i think i'm gonna go two out two behemoth gates this way and then cut straight across and because of this ledge we don't necessarily have to build all the way around it but we might anyways um i don't want things attacking from below i'm not really sure normally i wouldn't take like a precaution like that i don't think it'd be necessary but in this case, I don't know, because this, with this mod, it, everything's such a freaking insanity that I, I never know. I never know what to do. So, okay, let's take a look. Well, first, let's worry about getting this one gate lined up just right. So is that... How's that look? Does that look good? And is it blocking everything? Sure, let's just do it. And this stuff is S+, plus, so we can pick it up if we need. And let's go ahead and do one more. Line it up real nice, just like that. Yes, a little bit more out. Beautiful. Okay, let's see. Let's go ahead and fly up in the air and kind of see what that looks like. Hopefully, it's lined up and it's real nice. And we should have enough for this. Yeah, that looks great. And then we'll just cut straight across. Hopefully, we're not too far into these rocks. I don't want to ruin all the spawns of these stone here. I hate how these things don't go just a little bit into the ground. A little bit into the ground would really make a difference. Um, it would really give us a lot less gap. You know what I mean? Oh, that's not even going to line up right, is it? Okay, let's do that one. We got one more? Sure do. Uh, but the problem is this one's going to hang over. Okay, so this one we're going to have to do a little different angle. We're going to have to turn it in like this. So, yeah, there we go. Oh, well, maybe a little less. We want it to get right to the edge so nothing can sneak around it. Yeah, just like that. Beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and... Ah! Oh, I thought something was attacking my guy. Woo! All right, let's fly up and see how that looks. Uh, let's gamma up a bit. And that should give us a nice big area. Yeah. I like that. We'll build our building maybe right here. And then use the rest for dino storage. I think that's going to be a good looking base. So I'm going to go ahead and get those gates uh, all set up. Get all these guys in here like this. And then I'm going to go gather a bunch more materials. Make a lot more stuff to build with. And uh, then I'll bring you guys back. All right. So we found ourselves an alpha doed level 76, I believe. We didn't have any dillo kibble. Um, but we did get some from a friend on the server. 
Now, I'm trying to lead this guy out of the area with all the red tribesmen over here. He's right below our base because we can't pick him up with the Quetzal because I don't think you can pick up any alphas. But if we can get him over to a semi-safe location and then knock him out, we should be just fine. And over here is pretty, pretty... No, no, no. Where are you going, bud? Come back. Don't de-aggro. Don't de-aggro. And over here is at least a semi... Uh, oh, this is bad news. Bad news. Come on. We just... Uh, here. Swim. Why? Oh, no. Come on, what are you doing, Quetzal? Okay, get to land, get to land, get to land, get to land. Don't die, don't die. <laughs> so, is that the little following us? Where is it? Oh, like a Sarko there. Oh, stay, stay. Okay, we are on. Okay, is it still chasing us? Come on. Hit us, so you stay aggroed. All right, let's get this sucker. Oh, like right here could be like perfect. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna try to knock this sucker out right here. Can I get on this rock right here? Oh, is he gonna break the rock? All right, and we're just gonna hammer him full of darts. He should have plenty of health and stuff. After this, it should be pretty easy to just walk him up to uh, our new base area. He can be the first dino in our new base area. Just don't, oh no, don't hurt my guy. Ugh, get out of here, turtle. We'll knock him out too, I guess. Don't you come up here. Go to sleep. Okay, now of course he's in my way. Yeah, we got, we got a little perch now to hit the guy. This is starting to be a really awkward position. We're not even hitting him. Um, okay, turtle. I kind of do want to tame this turtle because we need to start a kibble farm, but it's in the way. Uh, what are we gonna do here? Okay, we're gonna have to get on that rock over there. Okay, let's see what we can do. Oh wait, is he running now? All right, we just need to hammer him full of uh, full of things. Okay, he's good. He's stuck on the Quetzal, which is nice. Maybe he'll knock out right here, and that would be amazing. Nope, he likes me. Get on the rock. Okay, so we've got thirty-one more. Oh dear. Go away. Oh, go away, please. Okay, come on over. We'll just, we'll just lead him around in circles. How about that? Hey, bud. Go to sleep. <laughs> okay, so it used to be if you hit him in their shell, you get reduced topor. I don't know if that's the case anymore. I still think their tail and head are both fine. Jeez, are you gonna go down or what? If I run out of arrows, I'm gonna have to pike ya. And I like to, I like to do my shooting from a distance. Well, this is taking way longer than I thought. I'm definitely gonna have to cut some of this out. And he's down! Awesome. So now we can go ahead and tame this sucker up. And uh, hopefully that's enough kibble. I'm like 90% sure it's Dillo kibble. Cause it's just supposed to be the same kibble that a regular one would use. Uh, we're gonna have to whistle our guy. Parasaur, what, is, what takes for parasaurs? Um, we don't really need a parasaur, but we do need to start a kibble farm. So there we go, and then that turtle as well. But first, let's go ahead and get our Quetzal down here so we can actually get up there to these guys. We're gonna have to run and grab some narcotics. Yeah, we're gonna have to run and grab some narcotics. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys tamed up, and then I'll bring y'all back. All right, guys, our Doe just tamed up at level 113, and now we have the challenge of getting this sucker home. Um, luckily, our new base is super close, and these guys are pretty quick. Oh, we lost our Quetzal. Come on. All right. Uh, we're just on top of this cliff. I really wish we could pick these suckers up, but we cannot. So we deal with what we have. Um, let's walk it around this threes. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this sucker home and then go ahead and head back to the old base and uh, start gathering materials and building stuff up so we can keep building our base. All right, guys, we are back and it is time to start doing some placing of some structures. So I'm thinking with the main house right there right here Ooh, i'm so overburdened it's insane <laughs> all right let's check it out so i'm thinking if we place it right here oh that's not i feel like that's a really weird angle maybe a little lower let's turn it oh, i'm not really sure because see how it kind of slopes and it gets kind of flat i like to do as much stuff in foundations as i can so i want to go a little bit higher 
like so. Let's try that. How's, how's the lineup? We'll start right there, I think. And we'll do, you're hot, you're encumbered. You're hot, you're encumbered. Okay. And let's do one, two, three. And let's go this way. One, two, wait, shoot. Is that six or seven? Oh, I need to count more consistently. Okay, let's get up on top. Oh, let's look. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's six. So I want to do at least one more on each side. Okay, so we're definitely going to need to make a bunch more foundations. Oh, what's that? What is that? Ah, what are you doing? Get out of here. This is my area. I don't need no Diplo. All right, so I'm going to run back to the base, make some more. I made a bunch of other stuff, which apparently I don't need. So I'm going to go ahead and let's see. Throw all this extra stuff on the beaver. Every time I do a trip, I'm bringing over one more dino, you know? And, uh... So, get out of here, bud. Oh, are you kidding me? So I'm gonna go ahead and get, get some more stuff built and then I will bring you guys back. All right, guys, we have got the foundation of our base done. So, I went a little wider and made these little two wings. The one on the left is going to be for hatching. It's gonna be a hatching room for when we do some breeding and the one on the right is going to be a garden. So we're gonna do our greenhouse there. Now I did one layer of walls around because what I actually want to do is put this pike away. We were just knocked out a Diplo over there that was walking around here. Um, what we want to do, I think, is run all cabling underneath. And we're also about all the air conditioning units for the breeding center underneath uh, one little stone foundation. So now we can go ahead and take the ceilings, which I believe are on this guy. Yes. We can actually put these like so and we'll do an entire layer of ceilings we're needing more ceilings and an absolute crap ton more walls um but we can go ahead and cover this whole area that way we can just run everything here and that way all the you know the cables and whatnot won't get in the way of us running around and we don't have to see them for it to make things super ugly so i'm gonna go ahead and get this built i'm gonna make a bunch of walls and get that stuff placed and then uh, i'll bring you guys back we've made some serious progress all right, guys, so we have done quite a bit of building. So check it out. Oh, let's gamma up. Gamma three. There we go. And check it out. We got a little house. We got like a long house. It's got multiple stories. So I think it turned it out pretty decent. There's still a lot more work we need to do as far as aesthetic things. I want to put some railings on the top here. Um, and also inside. Also, eventually, going to turn it all into metal and not have just garbage wooden ramps. So this little underneath area for the cables and the pipes and everything turned out pretty good. We can just kind of run everything here so it doesn't look super ugly right in the middle of our house. Um, we also have these doors and we blocked off this room with just a small door on either side. One for the, what's going to be the breeding room. And then on this side, one for what's going to be the garden. Um, coming up this ramp, there's another little second area. This will be like the, the bedroom area, you know, beds and aesthetics and maybe some just, if there's any crafting stations we don't really use. Then down here will be all crafting and storage. And we should have plenty of room with all of this, so it shouldn't be a problem. Um, but I think what we need to do is uh, go ahead and start making all the crafting stations. We need to make some beds. Actually, ooh, I think I already have. I put a couple beds on this guy? Yeah. Okay. So I'll go ahead and throw a couple beds down right now, just in case we die. And we need to start just doing like the general move everything over. And I'll go ahead and start working on that, probably off camera. Uh, where can I put this? Where am I gonna put this? Put it, what's, well, right here. This is the bed spot, right here in the middle. There, two beds. Um, I'll go ahead and work on that stuff, mainly off camera, I think. Um, but for today, guys, I do think that is gonna be it. We got quite a building built, I would say. I'm pretty happy with how it's turning out. Um, I'm pretty happy with how the move is going. So far, nothing crazy has happened, even though there's lots of super dangerous things in the area. Um, like I said, guys, for today, that is gonna be it. If you did enjoy the video, or if you learned something, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. And of course, if you haven't yet, feel free to subscribe and share. Uh, oh, that's a little better. Now we can actually see something. Um, you can also check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash X and hit me up on any of the social medias, your Facebook, your Twitter, your Instagram, your Google+, Plus, even though no one ever uses it. Uh, but like I said, guys, that is going to be it. I do really do appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me. And until next time, I will see you later.